Everybody wonders what it's like to live in a tiny space with kids. Well, today I'm going to show you a family of five with three boys under the age of five years old living inside of a bus. I think you're going to really like this one, so let's go check out the inside. Take my whole hand. Hi, I'm Denver. I'm Vanessa. And, and this, this is, is our, our bus. bus. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. nomad style we just decided that it was time for a new adventure and why not make it a fun one so we went with the school bus and sold everything and moved in we wanted to show the boys that less is more tell me your name London London and what's your name Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix and what's your name Everest hi can you say Everest no no <laughs> donut pregnant with our third when we bought the bus. I had him in the midst of all of it. I was in the middle of working on the bus with the baby on my lap, painting cabinets. It's just kind of what it was. And how did your family react when you guys said this is what you wanted to do? They thought we were crazy until they kind of saw what the bus was going to be and then they realized that it's a home. We love it. <laughs> we love it. We're like almost two years in uh, living on the bus and uh, we, we wouldn't go back. <laughs> This is our inside of the bus. We decided on an L-shaped couch just because we wanted to make the bus look a little bit more like a home. We have a table that we set out so we could sit here and eat as well as do school. As we're on the go, it's easier for me to homeschool and we just like the idea of homeschooling anyway. We just did the couches in leather because fabric just didn't work with three boys. So I'm really excited about the new couch cushions. They're definitely a lifesaver to just wipe up. Each compartment opens up and there's storage cubbies underneath. Uh, we do have some electrical in one of them. And then we also kept the old bus heater. So while we're driving, Denver can turn that on and we don't freeze. So we uh, wanted the comfort of home in our new home, so we decided to put in a big TV since we had this headroom space for it. We added surround sound in the bus as well, so that when we're driving, we don't have to blast whoever's driving in the ears. So when you're driving, are you mainly here in this area? Yes, so my uh, my boys and I sit on the couch, we have seat belts and we put their car seats in, and then my husband or I will be driving, so we switch off depending on who's in the mood or where we're going. <laughs> how, how does it feel to drive this bus? Um, it's a little bit to get used to when you're driving at first, but as long as there's not too much wind, since we are a little bit taller, then it's pretty easy. My husband is six foot, so when we first got the bus, he was already kind of hitting his head and leaning a little bit. So we did a 20 inch roof raise we decided that if we were going to live full-time in the bus, we wanted to live with comfort. So doing a roof raise just gives more room inside a 250-square-foot bus. We have an oven and a stove. We decided to go with a single bowl sink, but it's deep enough that I can even bathe the boys in here if I need to. We also decided that Lazy Susans weren't going to work for us. So instead, my uncle made these sweet extended drawers. I go all the way out. Really cool. We have three of those. So this is actually a remodel. Um, my kitchen used to be along this wall, and we just kind of decided that it wasn't enough space for my daily prep work. So we extended our boys' bunks out to six feet against this wall here, 
And then we remodeled and decided to go this side with the kitchen. So now I have all of this countertop space and then my stove and then I can also use this here if I need more space. This is a multi-purpose bar. Denver works at it, I cook at it, I put 45 cupcakes on here to frost, <laughs> whatever I need to do. When we moved out of the house, I told Denver I don't care what we do, you have to put the lockers in the bus. So he figured out a way to make them work in here. Is this marble or? This is laminate. Laminate, it yeah. looks like marble though. It does look like marble. <laughs> I wanted the appeal, but not the cost or the weight of marble. Right, and your full size refrigerator? Yeah, it's an RB fridge. It's propane and electric. Same with the stove. The stove can do propane or electric. So we decided that being full time, it would be nice to have an oven. So we, we decided to splurge and get this. We did finally put a uh, tile backsplash. I know that a lot of people are for it, a lot of people are against it. So far it's held up fine and we take this bus off-road camping all the time. We haven't done a full United States tour yet. That's hopefully coming in the next year. I'd like to do East Coast, Alaska, Canada, mm -hmm. wherever we can go. I consider myself lucky to have boys and I think it's easier for me. Kids are wild regardless, uh, so I feel like the boys tend to just play outside a lot. If we talk about houses or anything like that, they're like, no, if we want to live in a bus. So this is the bunk room. We did decide to do doors. That way the kids could feel like they actually have a room and it's privacy for everybody. Each of us has a storage drawer, so everyone can have their own space for whatever they need. We also just put in these locks. So while we're driving, I mean, this, some of them get kind of stuck, we just lock them into place and they don't come out anymore. So I've got two boys here and they are full six feet bunks. We just did little small cubbies so that they'd feel like they're inside a little cave. So this is London, he's five. This is where he sleeps. My three-year-old Phoenix sleeps here and my two-year-old Everest sleeps down here. This here is our bathroom. It's easier to do a compost toilet when you're gone for so long. You don't have to deal with black water. And then we also drained our pee tank to go directly to the gray water. And then we have an actual just shower by itself instead of one big room together. Underneath the bed right here and on the other side are our 100 gallon water tanks. We have two, so we carry 200 when we go with us. And we also have a 100 gray that's mounted underneath the bus. This is the master, which also turns into a schoolroom. So we decided to do a Murphy bed. That way I could utilize the back room for other things besides just a bedroom. So we painted a chalkboard underneath this piece of wood here. And I have a desk under there as well as some stools and our school supplies. Five-year plan is to eventually get out on the water, um, but we'll still come home to the bus whenever we decide that that's not the life we want to live anymore. So a catamaran or a sailboat is definitely in our future. When it comes to, to living tinier or living in a bus, um, it may seem daunting, but anything is, and the best thing to do if you want to go for this lifestyle is just start. Start getting rid of stuff. Um, and start pursuing your dream and you'll make it there. Just start. Life moves pretty fast.